Russia launched its inaugural rocket from a new cosmodrome on Thursday, a day after a technical glitch thwarted the much publicized event. But not only was it a historic day for Russia, it was a day Korea began a new chapter in space research. Bruce Harrison is live in the studio with me for more on this big step. Now, Bruce, a Korean telescope, space telescope, was successfully placed in orbit through this ro Russian rocket launch. How did it go down? Yeah, like you said, a big day for both countries, uh, and it almost didn't go down because of that technical glitch on Wednesday. But uh, today, uh, smooth sailing, the rocket was able to, to take off, and the Korean uh, research telescope reached orbit. It was being carried by one of three satellites on the Russian rocket. So what does Korea hope to accomplish uh, with this telescope? Well, the head of the team, he said that the telescope uh, is expected to lead to world-class developments and accomplishments. Uh, the ultra-fast flash observatory Pathfinder, as it's called, will be used to capture X and gamma rays for three years and in turn study the early universe. Thursday also marked an important day for Russia's space program. The inaugural launch at the new space launch facility comes after delays and corruption slowed work there. I would like to congratulate you again. You know how the work has been going, and it's far from being completed. Putin added that may include building the infrastructure for super heavy rockets for manned space mis missions. This is not the first time Korea has partnered with Russia regarding space. Most notably, perhaps, Korea sent its first astronaut to the International Space Station in 2008 aboard a Russian Soyuz rocket.